Hey everybody, welcome back to another TI Inspire calculator video. Uh, in this video, I want to be showing you guys how to pretty easily install a new operating system on your uh, your Texas Instruments calculator. Uh, remember, I'm running a TI Inspire CX CAS. I've got the nice black one here, and uh, I realized that I was not running version 3.6 on it. I was running version 3.2. So I needed to upgrade, and I figured, well, I might as well show anyone else that may not may not know how to do this, how to do it. So uh, we can download the new operating systems online, and that's over at ti.com, or better yet, education.ti.com, because that'll take you right to their calculator stuff. And uh, I'm sure you may very well remember, once this page loads, uh, we can head on over to download, apps and, uh, apps and software, sorry, TI Inspire CAS, in my case, and I want the handheld operating system. We can go ahead and find that, and there they are, CX, uh, CX CAS, and the regular CAS, and version 3.6 is available. We'll just click on that, whichever one is necessary for you. You can download the item right there, version 3.6.5055, and this is what we're going to download. We can go ahead and save that file, let that download, and I'll, I'll actually bring that over to my desktop here. And now you'll be able to see, okay, I'll, I'll just put that right there so it's available for us. And I'll fire up the computer link software so we can bring that over to my calculator. And we're going to want to connect it. Uh, that is pretty simple. Just hook up the USB wire to your calculator and your computer. Refresh it, refresh the search until you see your calculator and select it. And then once it's ready, what we can do is go ahead and drag the TI Inspire new operating system right on over to the calculator and it says you're about to upgrade your handheld operating system any unsaved data will be lost are you sure you want to do this do you want to continue I'm gonna say yes and this is gonna go ahead and install don't disconnect anything uh, it'll say on, on your calculator or your handheld that you're receiving an operating system update file please don't unplug the cable uh, save any open document the, do the handheld will reboot so while this is going on, just kind of grab yourself a coffee. I don't know, it, it shouldn't take very long, but I'm going to pause the video and uh, see you guys when it's done. All right, it looks like we're getting close to the end here, and yes, the OAS file has been successfully transferred to the handheld. The handheld will take a few moments to install the operating system and restart. If you wish, you can disconnect the handheld from the computer now, and uh, you might see on your calculator that, yes, you are installing, and uh, you can unplug the USB cable. Okay. Well, that's really all it takes. It, all it takes is bringing the file that you download or you have on your computer uh, and bringing it onto your handheld calculator. Um, right then, it's kind of a matter of the calculator to be able to handle it itself. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.